make sure we keep in mind that notion of why they focused on this with, with being a social movement and that involvement of music with movements, right, in terms of what it does and that notion of the structure of feeling that's behind it. That's what was important about swing. I mean, as they pointed out with this jazz, you're in the Nazi regime, right, and you listen to music that is by Jews, by blacks, music that, music that is going to be, that is going to be not set in stone, it's going to be improvisational, right? Everything about the music goes against the grain of the culture. Yeah. Right? That that becomes something that undermines the structure feeling and the music itself is in opposition or in resistance to the culture, which is what becomes very important about it. And the point we're making about hip hop was that if we listen to the type of music it is, that it has some particular grains that aren't actually oppositional to American culture, but push it further, faster, and harder to what individuals identified was in the first place. To see that you wouldn't listen to music if you didn't like it, and you didn't like the what they were saying in the music. So I think music is representing what people think at, at a different age or... Right, but representing and influencing a sort of different. They are influencing us what they are They reflect on those, but it's the music that is having the influence. Um, the music is popular because we bought it, because we go to concerts and because we support it. It wouldn't just... Uh, the product is there if somebody buys it. Okay, we say that music, that's a side is just formed by music. I mean, there's the, we can see the same thing that, that we can see in music, we can see in other uh, arts as well. I mean, uh, take uh, uh, literature or drama or whatever. Some scholars are actually attributed the success of America in building support within Germany. The fact that the Soviet station played music propaganda, the American station played jazz. And all of the people in that area, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, remember just from the war, right? Mm -hmm. We felt that connection to the Japanese because they couldn't be able to just so you far again. Uh, music and every other art is a form of expression of society. But they can't carry on the ideas, mm -hmm. the original original ideas that form these, these, these arts. So they can carry out, they can pass them on to others. We can draw uh, an actual comparison between music and advertisements. And, uh, and this reminds me of what uh, Chris and Wong just uh, said in their presentation. Uh, yes, advertisements uh, actually uh, represent what, what people need and what people want, uh, as does music, in fact. But on the other end of the spectrum lies the fact that music actually uh, can manipulate people by um, to a certain extent reflecting their taste and their ruminations and their desires and their needs, but at the same time it forms and it, it gives a, an actual se uh, shape and meaning to their desires. Are right on the front edge of societal change, right? The same way that music does is the same way that yeah. literature would do, is the same way that painting would do, or the same way that sculpture would do. Yeah, so I mean, to, to put it short, the, these arts are formed by society and they carry the ideas of society too. Then they carry the transformation on.